Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while. Well, it's been like a couple of weeks. Um, I have so much to tell, okay? I just got back from Los Angeles and while I was there, I took the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine. And in order to come to Europe, you have to take the coronavirus test. And when I took it, it came back positive. All right, guys. So yeah, I'm just gonna get right into this story, okay? I'm gonna talk about the vaccine, the side effects, and yeah, what happened after, okay? So I had to go back to visit my family because um, there's some family issues that I had to take care of. So we were gone for, yeah, about three weeks. And while we were there, um, they made the vaccines available for everyone. You can just make an appointment, go to the pharmacy, take the vaccine, and you're done. So in the United States, there are three um, brands of the vaccine. You have the Moderna, Pfizer, and the Johnson & Johnson. So we wouldn't be there long enough to take the Moderna or the Pfizer because you have to take two shots. So, and I think they're like 20 days apart or something like that. So the only option was to take the Johnson & Johnson. So <laughs> we went to a pharmacy at Walmart. Um, it was very difficult to find the Johnson & Johnson because everybody wanted it. Um, but we did, we found it at Walmart. We went, got the shot. Okay, after I took the shot, I felt fine for a few hours and then we were at home I started to feel like body aches and I started to feel I don't know like um, fatigue I felt really tired and then it just got worse and then it felt like I had a really bad flu so we went to bed and then I woke up like maybe at 2 in the morning because I had to go to the bathroom and when I was walking in the hallway everything was spinning i was dizzy it felt like i had a fever i said oh my god like i may have to go to the emergency room i don't know what's happening but um after i would say a few more hours after that i felt better it lasted maybe for a day um now my partner he was okay with the exception that his eye got swollen and a few days after he had leg his legs were aching and this lasted well for a few days and now he's better he's fine i'm fine um but it was really strange and shortly after we took this vaccine they said on the news that they had to stop um giving this vaccine out for the moment because there were like six women that had blood clots and i was thinking wow right after we took the vaccine this happened so after that we had to take the PCR COVID test in order to come back to Europe because, um, well, you have to. <laughs> it's a requirement. Spain makes it a requirement. Germany makes it a requirement. So we took the PCR test and you have to wait two days to get the results. But if you, because we're coming back to Spain, so Spain requires the results to be no older than 72 hours and Germany no no I can't even think right um cuz I'm I'm thinking in Spanish <laughs> um no longer than 48 hours so we got the results back literally on the day we had to go to the airport his result said negative mine said positive so I was like freaking out and i said oh my god i have coronavirus like i can't go back to europe like i'm gonna be stuck here and um when we were at the airport the woman said that we couldn't use those results because they were too old which was shocking because we're like we literally got the results today and they said no you have to take another test so they had the antigen test and they give it to you right at the airport and then you get the results back in like literally 30 minutes and we were worried how long this was going to take because we were going to miss our flight. So we took the antigen test and they both came back negative. 
so they let us go but then when we got to germany they were like you know you can't go to spain with this test they're gonna find you we were like well we're gonna have to take that risk right what can we do so we went to spain they didn't even ask my partner for his exam his um results they asked me we were walking and they're like um, excuse me, can you show me your test? But they took the antigen test. Um, but I was still worried because I had read that the PCR is more accurate and that's why most people want the PCR. So we decided to quarantine ourselves and our neighbor actually bought groceries for us because you know we, we wouldn't leave the house. So we called the Centro de Salud and we explained to them everything. And so we made an appointment to go. Um, they gave us another PCR test and they did the antibodies. So the results were the PCR was negative for both of us, um, but the antibodies were positive. So it mean, they said basically the vaccine caused us to make antibodies, which is good because that's how you fight the viruses. Um, and they said, if you take the vaccine, um, don't take the PCR test within like two to three weeks because you may show up as positive. So it made sense. So we felt so much better. Everything was normal. The next day we went out enjoying our lives, things like that. But I was really like worried because I'm thinking, how is he negative and I'm positive? And we spend literally every waking moment together. Like it just didn't make any sense. And, but everyone else, my family, all my family has been vaccinated, but they assumed that it was a false positive as well because they're like you just took the vaccine um, and from what I've read the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is different from the Moderna and the Pfizer they use like some sort of like a dead virus or something and your body reacts to it so I don't know but the nightmare is over so, <laughs> so I am officially back um, I will be making my videos again each week so if you miss me, don't worry, I'm here now. All right, so if you have any questions um, about the vaccine in general or the PCR test or anything like that, just you know, let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's all I have. I'll see you in my next video. Hasta luego, ciao.